Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Fred's severe weather for the next couple of days. And we're going to be showing you guys what's currently going on around the around the Mid-Atlantic and into the Plains. We're also going to be showing you guys the SPC outlooks for the next days, um, for the next couple of days, um, for the next few day, couple of days. And then we'll start to get a break from all of that, but yeah. That's what's going to be going on. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. This is your mini roll. Just kids. You can't hear here with a weather um, update here. We got a got severe thunderstorm mornings out. We got some severe thunderstorm mornings in North Carolina. We got severe thunderstorm mornings up in, um, um, up in Delaware. Um, we got some, we got a severe thunderstorm morning for the New York metropolitan area. Um, that, um, is in effect for... Wait, actually, no, that is just a severe thunderstorm march. There is no warning for New York City, but we, right now we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. That is for, which is in effect for, um, parts of, which in, is that, which that all is in effect here. Let's have that scan so that we can get, show you guys what's actually going on here. And we're going to show you what, um, is possible here. Um, okay, so while I wait for that to show up, I'm going to show you guys the forecast models, and I'm going to show y'all the models here so that you guys can get a better understanding at, as, 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 um, what's to expect with the severe weather, and I know that's going to be a factor. So if we look at forecast loop, I'm going to go to... I'm gonna go over to the Ohio Valley because that's where we gotta look at the model. So the first thing we're going to look at here. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the temperatures here. So do you see? So the temperatures are gonna be are gonna be dropping down here in the middle of Ohio Valley to lower 60s, which is not so bad. Which is not bad cooling surface. It won't drop that bad, but it will be. But then the, the heat wave blasts into the Ohio Valley. Um. Whoops, take a while to go, but um, let's look at our severe weather parameters. Let's look at the storm relative, relative holicity, SRH. That tells us how much the holicity, how much holicity is up there, is out there. And that tells us the threat of severe weather. And per, that tells us the updraft rotating up. Uh, that tells us the chance of rotating updrafts. And if it gets higher, that means the threat increases for that. Now let me show y'all what I'm talking about with that. So it shows here that um. So it shows here on the models. Go back. You only can't see to get the right models up here. Um. So you can see the increase in velocity on Tuesday, um, up to close to 300 millimeter per second square, um, 400 millimeter per second square in, in Oklahoma by Tuesday. Um, it's valid for Tuesday. And then as we move forward here, the velocity takes a big increase to 500 millimeter per second square, 112 millimeter per second square velocity. Um. Like I said, the higher it gets, the more the threat. That's something to keep in mind. That's something to keep in mind with, with severe weather. That's something to keep very close in mind. And the holicity that increases up in Missouri near St. Louis, near the St. Louis metropolitan area. Then the holicity drops down. And then... Next forward scan, there's going to be, don't do Mayfield, don't do that Mayfield. Um, and then there's going to be 618 millimeter per second square 
then there's gonna be lots of helicity up in so that's what's gonna happen there but let's go let's show you how the you know what's going on so we have a severe thunderstorm morning active um include that in parts of new mexico here this includes areas and of uh, that includes fort sumner up towards areas near atlantic and to come to come where he is getting a strong storm here and that is moving off to the east northeast it's on interstate 40 right now which obviously it's doing that so yeah so yeah that's what's going to happen that's what's going to happen I just want y'all to be weather aware today and tonight, um, tonight for the possibility of severe weather and potential for the severe thunderstorms. Now, let me look at some things for you guys here on the mesoanalysis data because that gives me a better idea of what's, what, what's to show up on some of the models of some of the Kate values. So, it shows that Kate values right now in the plains right now are kind of high here. So, we're looking at about... 400 for 4400 4, 4, 4, joules to about almost 3000 joules of a, and about almost 4000 joules of cape over there um but as we go more deeper as we go more up the cape is much lower um we're talking in the 200 range to 300 range that does not require the severe weather type of stuff um and that's a good thing we usually don't want that to occur but what, what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at the 800 millimeter, 850 millimeter temp. And it shows that temperatures in New Mexico are as high as 90 degrees to about 80 degrees in New Mexico. That's crazy stuff. And if you look at the vertical vorticity, that's the thing. There's better any showing up. But the free, the, the free to zero, to zero, the free kilometer SRH is not that high right now. It's just not that high. Well, it kind of is right there. So we're looking at 356 millimeter per second square velocity for Elk City. Now, if that, that is it. I don't, I don't know if, the, if this will verify or not, but I hope it does not. Um, I hope that does not verify to that point. But we'll see what, we'll see what happens there. But, um, that's where that severe weather threat is. So, if we take a look at the, um, the STP, Significant Tornado Parameter, that's another tool we use, but for Significant Tornado Threat. Now, that is the case for that. Okay, so, there's some of that menace analysis data. What we're going to show next is the, um, convective outlook for today. Today, we have a slight risk for New Mexico and Texas and, a, and Oklahoma Panhandle and Texas Panhandle. Then tomorrow's risk. The start risk is, pl is placed for tomorrow for Nebraska, Colorado, C Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa. And then after that, day three, there is a marginal risk Car for Colorado, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Virginia. West Virginia and a silver Virginia. So that is a huge marginal. That could go slight. Um, we'll see. But day four does have a risk there. But day five has a 50% risk area place for much of Arkansas um, into, into the Mississippi River. Um, also to Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Indiana, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, I, 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 Ohio, Illinois and Michigan Okay, so that's where that is Okay, so but then we can't we are gonna get a break from all of this I can tell you right now and at day six there's a 50% in the mid-atlantic and in the in the mid-atlantic and mid and Kentucky And then day seven nothing day eight nothing Okay, so that's it right there I wonder what that is there. Oh, that was the STP. 
All right, guys, so I'll keep you guys posted if there's anything new. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Have a great time and enjoy the rest of your day and evening. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video.